Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at how we can download and install the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So Microsoft Visual Studio is an integrated development environment. It is used to develop computer programs such as website, web application, web services, and mobile phone application. So Visual Studio uses Microsoft software development platforms such as Windows API, Windows Forms, Windows Presentation Foundation, etc. So in this video, we look at how we can download the latest version of the Visual Studio, which is the Visual Studio 2022. So let's get to it then. To do that, let's open a browser. So we open a browser and we actually go to the google.com and we type in the Visual Studio 2022. <clears throat> so we should get this uh, Visual Studio 2022 preview, which is which will be on the Visual Studio dot microsoft.com so we click on it so as you can see yeah, this is what we actually get yeah so it's actually in a preview stage at this point of the video so to actually download it yeah so this is what this this is the specs that we actually get with it so it's it's actually being upgraded to a 64 bit and here you can also use the dotnet 6 and whatnot so here we can actually download the community version the professional version and then the enterprise version so for this video sake here we're just going to select the community version so we click on it so this this what we get this is the page that we actually taken so basically we should get the download started so now we can click on this executable then we accept or we click on yes so before you get started we need to set up a few things so that you can configure your installation right so we we click on continue so it's actually downloading and installing the visual studio installer so I'm just I'm just gonna pause the video while this operation ends. So as you can see, I'm unable to install the file target location. So this is this is like this is the um, this is because I've actually got um, Visual Studio instances of Visual Studio open. So if you get this error, make sure you close all instances of Visual Studio and redo it again. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna pause it while I close all instances of Visual Studio. So I'm just gonna close this. So we click on OK. So we're just gonna go to the, the download folder and redo it again. So now that I've got all instances of Visual Studio closed, we should get this thing installed. So here we actually get the Visual Studio 2022 preview um, installer here. So here you can click and add whatever workloads that you want. Yeah, so there's a, there's a whole lot of workloads that you can actually select. So it's like the ASP.NET. So once you select, so you can see this, um, the space required going up. Yeah. So you can select whatever requirement that you actually want to add. So in this case, yeah, we're not going to add any requirements because uh, I'm going to do that later on, on my next video. So we're just going to download and install it straight away like this so what I'm gonna do is just going to click on the install so here you'll be actually prompted to add some workloads so you could add some workloads if you want to but I'm not going to add any workload now so I'm just going to click on the continue here so we should get the whole thing downloaded and installed right so I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just going to pause it while the whole thing downloaded and installs. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the, the VS 2022 downloaded and installed now. So we're actually getting the whole setup started now. So while the setup completes, eh, so 
in case you want to actually come back and install more components so you, you can come back and click on the modifier here and then you can click on the whatever workloads that you want to you want to add or you can actually come inside the individual components so here you can actually download and install components individually right so as you can see here now we've we've actually got the the visual studio 2022 started now so as you can see it it, it actually looks very similar to the 2019 so what we do is actually continue without code so here you can actually create a new project so we're not going to see anything right because we've not actually added any workloads to it right so if, if we click on the solu a blank solution so this is this is how the ID looks like so it's nothing really changed right so here obviously you can you can add whatever stuff that you want to right so yeah as you can see it doesn't look any any different from the from the previous version the 2019 one so i don't think you should get a lot of problems getting started with this right so here the extension side is is pretty much the same as the previous one so you could actually change the settings from here so here you can you can make changes to the extensions and then there's new this icon here that is actually new and then the tools so here with the view you can you can put some some tools inside I mean here like the server explorer the solution explorer so we can actually come to the other window side here so as you can see here yeah, we've, we've got nothing really showing here so coming up from my uh, from my upcoming videos here we will look at getting started with a whole lot of tools and we look at building more projects yeah with the visual studio 2022 i will continue to make videos on the visual studio 2019 for now but we will actually shift most of our focus onto the 2022 and we will start building using the latest technologies that Microsoft has to offer. So once again, um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.